Hey everybody, it's Greg. So in case you haven't heard, I snapped my arm out of its socket this week, and that was real painful and gross. So we didn't record an episode, but the good news is, one, I'm okay. That's Thank you for asking, that's very kind. The other good news, more importantly, uh, last week actually was the first week ever that we sat down and thought, you know, maybe in the event that something were ever to happen, like someone ripping their arm out of their socket, we should record an episode to use in the future. This is that episode. Uh, at the end, you won't hear updates on last week's poll results. You can go ahead and on the website and find out. This episode will be counted in the Tournament of Champions Volume 2, which is coming up real soon. So uh, that's about everything you need to know. I'm going to go ahead and get going, so I'll talk to you all later. Bye. I mean, I enjoy the episode. Welcome to Bracket, the only show where we take a bunch of shit and face it off against another bunch of shit to see what the best shit really is. I'm your host, Cullen Jennings, and joining me today is John Abbott. I what's up, party people? <laughs> go, go to work, John. Yeah. Don't nice. forget about Jesse Knowles. Look into my crystal ball. Oh, boy. Let's not. Let's make a rule <laughs> that we can't do any of that anymore. <laughs> and and Emmy-nominated creator of MTV's Best Kiss... Greg L. Mercer. Hi, I'm Greg L. Mercer, and my favorite kiss is a band from Detroit, baby. Woo! And uh, our special guest this week is going to be Janelle Santa Cruz. You guys are out of hand. That that Gene Simmons thing, that's bad. That's terrible. Not <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> we're talking about smooches a bunch, so we're going to have best on-screen <laughs> kiss this week. In round one, we have Spider- in group A, we have Spider-Man versus The Office. In Group B, we have Back to the Future versus Gone with the Wind. In Group C, we have Beauty and the Beast versus Ghost. In Group D, we have Sixteen Candles versus Empire Strikes Back. In Group E, we have Nightmare on Elm Street 3 versus Twilight. In Group F, we have Batman Returns versus Cruel Intentions. In Group G, we have Brokeback Mountain versus Sleeping Beauty. And in Group H, we have Black Swan versus Lady and the Tramp. All right, so we'll get right into it. Best smooch in Group A, Spider-Man versus The Office. Take a stab at it. So it's it's Spider-Man, the first movie, the Sam Raimi movie, and Office, we're talking Jim and Pam's first kiss from the end of season one. Oh, we got two redheads here, huh? Red yeah, it was Pam. Fiery. 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 I didn't even think about that. I'll be honest, I'm going to come in hard and fast as a Spider-Man vote. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that... Spider-Man kiss has boobs. You can see nipples in that scene. <laughs> oh, That's a big you're, selling you're, point. You're right. And I Toby Maguire's nipples are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Best nipples in Hollywood. That's what I, they say. I think I I am a sucker for kisses in the rain. I'll tell you that. And there's something I don't know. The, he's upside down. She peels his mask down. I, there's a lot of elements to it that make it real, real good. It's a good kiss, y'all. Uh, I remember watching like interviews for that before it came out, but they had shown like, or I guess maybe after it came out, and they were talking about how. It was the worst kiss either of them had ever done, though, in a movie or anything, because... Uh, the water I guess, was going up his nose, well, the, right? the water was going up his nose the whole time, and he was also sick. And it, Yeah, it sounded like it was awful for both of them, but man, the magic of movies, that made it look like a great kiss. Yeah, I like that kiss. It's a good kiss. It's, um, it someone, is one of my favorites. Someone explain to me the appeal of uh, the office kiss. So the 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 office is a long running U.S. television program originally from England. Uh, it focuses on two characters named Jim and Pam, and Ooh, for like two nice. or three seasons in a row, Jim is like, "Hey, I got a crush on this girl, but she's dating a guy, so whatever." And then solid like, impression. Yeah, that's my Jim impression. And then he shrugs that's at solid. the camera. And at the end of like, I think it's season <laughs> two or three. I don't remember. He kisses, he like confesses his love to Pam and kisses her. And like, she's like, I don't know what just happened. And she walks away. And then, like, that's the season finale. It's season, season one. Season oh, one finale. Season, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's engaged. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, season two is like months later, and he's at an entirely different office branch. And it gets very complicated. And it's very, like, sad kind of it's pretty obvious spider-man's gonna win this one um, <laughs> well you know i mean I, the office people like the those characters that story and this kiss because that is totally it, it is a real thing yeah, like that's true they, 
that kiss is a thing. It really is fantasy versus a reality right here because well, I yeah, because the office is fake. Yeah, I hang upside down. In the, I exclusively kiss people upside down in the room. <laughs> Only in masks. Yeah. I, is there any real question to this? Can we just uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man? Spider-Man. 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 Yeah, Spider-Man. Sweet. Sweet. All right, we have Back to the Future versus Gone with the Wind. I Same really movie, like, basically. I like both these titles. I like that these are titles that sound... To the future and with the one preposition <laughs> titles. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. I I don't give I, a shit about Gone with the Wind. I <laughs> hate Gone with the Wind. It's so boring. It's so overdone. It's so overplayed. Back to the Future is so awesome, especially that kiss. Like it, And the music swells, and it's just it's really fucking cool. And then, and then Michael J. Fox comes back. His hand comes back. So... <laughs> I, I like I like uh, the McFlies. Let's let's go with Back to the Future. I don't know who's gonna argue Gone with the Wind. Who's the gonna only, say that's good? The only good thing about Gone with the Wind is that like one character that talks about carpet baggers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I mean the kiss in Gone with the Wind. Everything aside is a really good kiss. I mean, who's even heard of Gone with the Wind? I've never heard of it. Some oh, indie movie. Let's... Yeah, I, I am. Easy Back to the Future vote though. And it's yeah, it's George McFly and Lorraine. Like it's awesome. I I'm totally fine being the you one gone with density. the wind vote because yeah. I think that movie has a lot of artistic merit and it's a movie about a bunch of shitty racist assholes who are all making themselves miserable for no good reason and they all look phenomenal and they're gorgeous and everything is so opulent and the kiss is really great and there's really good lines in that movie. And I'm just going to vote for it because it's clearly not going to win. So. <laughs> but Marty's hand comes back from disappearing. Oh, well, if his hand comes back, okay, I guess. <laughs> I, I am also a Back to the Future vote. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm a Back to the Future vote, too. So Back to the Future knocks out Gone with the Wind, 4-1. to one. Up next, Beauty and the Beast versus Ghost. So one of these movies is about this horrible man that's turned into a monster. <laughs> and, he, and the other one is Beauty and the Beast. Uh, <laughs> you know, that wasn't a good joke. I would slap you for insulting Patrick Spacey. Like <laughs> the most famous scene in Ghost isn't really the kiss. Right, right. It's the, the pottery Right, wheel. to the point where there's like an entire community episode about not being allowed to reenact the pottery scene. Yeah, no ghosting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a verb. And the beauty, beauty and the beast is kind of cool because like it's like this whole magic thing, like where like he's like floating in the air and then he becomes a man and then they kiss. Or does she kiss him when he, when he's a beast? She kisses is him that... when he's a man. Yeah, that's right. I don't which, think she could get. Not... She he has those big old beast Whoa. dog lips. She couldn't and that's, lock with those. That's my okay, issue. Those fangs. Is just, yeah. She's so stingy about kissing the beast. <laughs> Because I'd be like, look, if this that is, is what I'm going to take, I'm just, I'm, I'll fuck the beast. Let's do it. Yeah, shit. I'll, I'll get with the beast. Yeah, I'm ready to get with the beast. So, I mean, I, I, it also, like, even when he was a prince and everything, he's still not as hot as Pr- Patrick Swayze was as a goat. <laughs> yeah, and, it's, it's, yeah. and besides, it's all about Gaston. Yeah. No, she yeah, fucking she, pretty great. She fucked up. She fucked oh, up. Put me Guys, in did you see that pottery scene in Beauty and the Beast? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, they were dancing around and singing on the kitchen table. <laughs> yeah, this chip had nothing to do with that scene. Uh, basically, it comes down to this: Do you want a hairy, slobbery kiss or like a cold, wispy air kiss? It, it depends. I don't know about you, but I would kiss a ghost. What about Demi Moore kissing the Beast? That would have been uh, way I better. Do- I also have a big thing for Demi Moore. So I'm a ghost vote. Really? Ghost, ghost uh, here. I, I think the Beast is cuddlier. I'd rather kiss him. No, make, like, make no mistake. I like the Beast. Uh, I just I think Ghost has the better kiss. I say Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it's down to you, Jesse. I, you know what? This is my personal retribution. I like Ghost. I'm going to vote for Ghost. Jesse, yeah. All right. All right. So Fuck. Ghost is out. Beast <laughs> <laughs> three to two. 16 Candles versus Empire Strikes Back. Is there any more badass moment in film than Han Solo? Like, fucking... Ah, oh, Christ. I just want to be him. Whoa, you got... He fucks on screen? I missed yeah. that. Yeah. Man. You didn't see the version I saw. 
playing in my head 24 7 baby empire strokes back got him <laughs> <laughs> sorry that was maybe too much uh man it probably goes without saying i think we have kind of a personal slant on this show yeah. towards empire uh we're big dumb nerds but oh, i don't care 16 candles oh, kiss is pretty candles great it, it's it, okay high. It's, it's a culminating moment of that movie, too. Like, Ma- Let me just make sure I'm not... Mis- this is the one where they're uh, sitting on the table, right? Yeah, over yeah. the cake. The cake that, is, that is a good kiss. That, uh, that is a good kiss. Uh, that's, that's, like, legit- like, I- that's like the only thing that I really like about it, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do like cake. That's kind of... Yeah. But it's Empire Strikes Back. Come on. It's Han Solo. No. It's amazing. Yeah, there's yeah, no... I- Han Solo could do anything, and it would probably be at the top of 16 of any action he took. I'm I'm Empire Strikes Back. ESB for me. Same. Yeah. Jackson. Man, uh, <laughs> I don't want to vote against the John Hughes movie, but I'm an Empire Strikes Back vote. All right. Yes. We got another yeah. first round sweep. Empire Strikes Back knocks out 16 candles. Up next, Nightmare on M Street 3 versus Twilight. <laughs> okay, guys. What's this? I can't handle this. Before we get too mean on Twilight... <laughs> I have a I have a absolute stupid love for these couple movies and they're really bad and I know that but there's something about the Twilight series that makes me really happy. I thought you were talking but, about Nightmare on Elm Street. But <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street Three Kiss may be my favorite kiss of all time. And, uh, she pulls the tongue right out of that boy's face. She pulls the tongue out of his mouth yeah. and then it's like a laffy taffy. It does not yeah. sound appealing. With, with her mouth, mind you, not yeah. just like pull it like a rope, like just with just straight out. Oh. And then it's your dream. That. It's your dream kiss. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. To be honest, you want a, you want a, a woman to pull your tongue out like a laughing cat. <laughs> That's all any boy wants. Growing yeah. Up. So um, it's a weird time. I think before, in a way we all kind of want it, you know. <laughs> and before means, I vote, can you? What is the specific Twilight kiss that we're voting on? Well, there's a billion of them. Th- there are billion. They won. Yeah, as Greg said earlier, they won best kiss at the MTV Movie Awards. It's the bedroom year. kiss. Like, yeah, it's probably yeah. the bedroom kiss. So there's a really, really like both hilarious and horrifying for neither inten- like neither reason being intentional. There's a scene where he like shows up in her bedroom while she's asleep, <laughs> oh. and she's Sweet. like freaked out at first, but then they start going at it. And well, then, like, sex, you know? yeah, they're they're about to have sex. We're like, no, I can't. And he like flies across the fucking room, <laughs> and it's ridiculous. And like, the whole time you're like, what is going on here? <laughs> um, and, I'm voting I, for it because I personally, that first Twilight movie, I think is such a good time because everyone in it realizes the source material is not very good, and they're just having a good old time with it. I, I think that's the series. Other than the, that second movie, I think that's how the entire rest of the series feels too. Like, I thought it's the all second just... one was really boring in a lot of it's spots. Awful. I didn't see three or four, and I saw the last half hour of five because I worked at a movie oh, theater boy. at the time. Yeah. The last half hour of the last movie is fucking amazing because the they last... managed. They I, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it, but they managed to have their cake and eat it too because <laughs> they totally like have this massive battle where almost everybody dies in a super gruesome way and then like they reveal that it was just like in the mind of this one character but the battle goes on for a solid 20 minutes yeah mm-hmm. so it's just and this gruesome gratuitous like finally we're killing these people the last two movies basically sum it up as like we had so much money to put in this and it is making so much money for <laughs> yeah. us and none of us give a shit and we are just going to have a good time filming a stupid ass movie. <laughs> it's a fun watch. Yeah. All right. Uh, join us next week for the Twilight Review Hour. Uh, <laughs> Don't get me started. Right. I'm, I'm a Twilight Nightmare on Elm Street, Street 3 else. vote. Yeah, that's fine. John, I'm right there with you, man. Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Uh, I got to vote with the Laffy Taffy tongue. <laughs> I'm Street. Now, Greg, I do not fault you for the Twilight vote, though. You're damn I, right you don't. Yeah. Uh, because I <laughs> love it. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street knocks out Twilight 4-1. to one. All right, we have Batman Returns versus Cruel Intentions. Listen, I will physically fight every single one of you <laughs> if you don't go with Michael Keaton. Because that is a great kiss. I think it's fantastic. Although it is up against Cruel Intentions, that's a pretty good kiss, too. But I... Just remember, I will physically fight all of you. Well, Keep that I in mind. I don't want to get beat up, so I'm going Batman. 
Can we describe these kisses? Yes. Yeah, I, I don't actually know the cool intentions ones. So. Oh, oh wow. Jesse. Uh, it's the yeah. one they made fun of in not another teen movie. Yes, well, they and made it was fun of in every movie that came out that year after it. Man, I wish we had a minute just so you could watch that kiss. It's it's every teenage boy's like. Yeah, we need to send you back to puberty and make you see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that scene came out when I was like a teenager, and basically she's teaching this other girl who is the what is it like the scared innocent girl had a kiss, and it's Sarah Michelle Gellar and Selma Blair. Lord, it is a kiss. <laughs> they sure do make out, and there sure is, like, a, a signature, an iconic string of spittle. At the oh, end. my God! <laughs> I'm having gotta, issues over here. Hot flashes. We gotta cool this down. Uh, uh, somebody talk about the Batman. The Batman one is when uh, Selena Kyle, uh, the Catwoman, and... Um, and Bruce Wayne are at like some gala, gala or something, and uh, they realize that they are Catwoman and Batman, and they <laughs> kiss like right before, and they they make some sort of um, a, they like talk about some quote like about a kiss can be even deadlier if you mean it or something. But it's really cool. It's like this intense moment where they've realized that um, that they're supposed to be hating each other, supposed to kill each other. So that's, I like it. I think it's really cool. That's the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, the, the best the good cat, cat Yeah, the good yeah. cat woman. <laughs> the only cat woman. As far uh, as I know. No, I like animals. Oh, man. I Just for her alone, just for Catwoman, I have to yeah. go Batman Returns. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. All you, had to, say, all really you really had to say was that uh, Catwoman was involved. That's an easy vote for me, though. <laughs> as much all as I want to, Catwoman. guys. I can't. I can't. I'm so sorry, good, Janelle. Catwoman. She was so good. That movie's great. I'm sorry, Janelle. I have to go Cruel Intentions <laughs> because, because Batman already won. And... I have a problem. Uh, <laughs> so Colin jenny has got a need. Uh, so <laughs> the Batman Returns knocks out Cruel Intentions. All right, next we have Brokeback Mountain versus Sleeping Beauty, <laughs> which I find immensely fucked up. This is ridiculous. <laughs> She's fucking sleeping. Yeah. Keep up in her chambers and fucking kiss her. <laughs> you can't do that anywhere ever. Man, I I. He goes on a fucking quest to kiss this girl in her sleep. Well, wait, you know you, how wait, you wait. understand how creepy that sounds? Do you, do you think he knew the whole time she was asleep? Or was it just like, oh, I'm going to go meet, like we were talking, we were chatting earlier, I'm going to go meet this girl that's in town. I was and talking then, to like, her on MySpace. Yeah. Oh, and he, and he, he, he met her on Tinder. And then, and then he, he yeah. opens the door and he's like, oh, well, man, I'm here already. Like my horse isn't, like, you know, it, I, just one little peck. It, it's just. He's like, I didn't fucking come all the way out here to not kiss her. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that excuses it, guys. I wasn't saying it excuses it. I was just, at, like, Cullen made it sound like he knew from the beginning that she was asleep the whole time. He's like, she's not going to know. It doesn't matter. She was up in the tower and put, like, put away. What if he would have kissed her and she was dead? That's sure. just as creepy right. as her waking oh, up from asleep with some dude making out with her. Like, uh, ugh. And aren't there, like, a bunch of animals watching them? And it's, Yeah, it's fucking creepy. So... It, I I think that Sleeping Beauty is sort of like the iconic storybook kiss, but I, it is deeply fucked up on a lot of levels. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen Brokeback Mountain. That kiss is fucking hot. Like, so it is. Right. Yeah, it's, so specifically, I, I hope we're... We're thinking about the one where they get like reunited, basically, right? I was nope. thinking of when they're in the tent for the yeah, first time. The tent. Yeah, the tent was the first one that, I, that popped in my oh, mind. Oh, see, I think about the one where they... They have each other right. in forever, and that one's and, good too. Oh, and he pushes and, like, him up. The, yeah, the, like he's, yeah. he's there. He's he's there with his wife, and like he goes oh, down yeah. the stairs to meet him, and then it's like it is on. It's on. Both of those are really good kisses, guys. There's, yeah, a, I, there's some quality fine. in that movie. Either one, I'm a bro- I, yeah. I I'm was, a Brokeback Mountain vote without yeah, even going. Into how it. iconic Sleeping Beauty is, but I will I will vote with Brokeback Mountain because I do think that that was a really good kiss. That's You're way right. better. Also very was, iconic in itself. Like yeah, I was it is, yeah. in high school when that movie came out, and uh, I saw that movie, and I was like, it was one of the first movies that I saw that I had to admit to myself, like, holy, like these actors are fucking going for it, man. <laughs> like, you know what? I think I'm a Brokeback Mountain vote as well. All right, first round sweep for Brokeback Mountain knocking out Creepy Beauty. And we have Black Swan versus Lady in the Tramp. Oh, boy. That is cruel intentions for a whole new generation. Um, yeah. No, that that is one of my top... It might be even be one of my, like, my favorite kiss. That Black Swan kiss is yeah. amazing. Christ. That whole scene. I got to yeah, tell you, I was lured into seeing Black Swan because of that 
kiss sort of like so i didn't i for whatever reason hadn't followed anything about black swan i didn't know what it was about at all i got a big thing for natalie portman and so my friends told me like hey we're gonna go see black swan it's natalie portman she's a ballerina and we think maybe she kisses mila kunis in it and i was like oh sweet all right cool let's go see this movie (laughs) and Five minutes into the movie, I was like, "Something, this something is very, very, very wrong." <laughs> I'm like, not okay with it. That that movie really did a number of like I I think that movie is one of the most like tense and like stressful and like emotionally draining movies ever. It really like yeah, maybe yeah. my guard was just down, but it really messed me. It well, I up. you and I have had very long conversations about like the artistic message of that movie and the sorts of things that it's attempting to convey and everything as well as being this like crazy psychological thing that is visually really well done um i'm a huge darren aronofsky fan i'm not gonna not vote black swan i i'll be honest i'm gonna vote lady in the tramp i I understand that that's yeah even though those are cartoon dogs I think that moment with the spaghetti is. I think that moment's awesome. Like I, yeah. I think even it's, yeah, it's if a great movie. that that kiss scene could happen between any people or whatever, and it would still like maybe they wouldn't use their noses to move the meatballs around. But I, I think that <laughs> no, is, they still do that. I yeah. think that's a really. <laughs> I think it's one of the best kisses. I I really love Lady and the Tramp. I'll I'll be honest. As someone who's never seen Lady and the Tramp, oh, Jess- uh, I know, I know. Uh, also, that's... how how awesome would it be? Like, how much money would you pay to have a portly Italian gentleman play an accordion for you while you go on a date? Well, I, I assume it's a service they offer, so I'd pay that much. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars exactly. Do you have to eat in an alley, though? Yeah, uh, I mean, they get buy a dumpster. Let's be, let's buy be a here. dumpster. <laughs> Yeah, but that spaghetti it's, still it's looks good. Nice. Act like I ain't never ate anything out of a trash can before. <laughs> I mean, look, it's just, it's the classic George Costanza conundrum. If the spaghetti's on top of the trash, it's not, you know, it's not touching anything. <laughs> it's any not garbage. trash, yeah. Yeah, you can eat it. I, uh, I Black Swan, if you don't know the scene that we're talking about, Ooh. don't don't look the scene up. Yeah, Watch no, that whole gotta... movie, and you will know the scene. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it is intense, and uh, Black Swan's my vote, hands down. Not even. Can I, I? I'm gonna go ahead and say spoiler for Black Swan. It's been forever. Who cares? That kiss didn't really even happen, though. Well, right. That's she what, yeah. Denied it. Like, yeah. She was like, well, the next day, Mila Kunis was like, what are you talking about? Like, confused. So it, it, it's, it was like it's a really uh, great moment. It's one of the few laughs in that movie, though, because Mila Kunis freaks out, all excited. She's like, did you have a lesbian dream about me? And is like yeah. excited about that. Like, it's a really great moment. Yeah, and that's I think that kind of is a big spoiler, and I kind of wish you didn't spoil it. But I said spoiler ahead of time. I know, but it's not like you were going to stop listening. And that's an old movie Whatever. at this point. Cullen's Black Swan. Janelle, where are you? Black Swan. Oh, man. So I saw I saw Black Swan in theaters. Man, I completely agree with John. I, I was guarded going into it, and that movie did a number on me. Just I walked out of the theater thinking, I'm never going to watch that again. That was, ama- <laughs> that was amazing, but I'm never going to watch that again. That scene in particular, oh, man. I have a Black Swan vote. All right. Yeah. Black Swan. Trashes, haha, because they eat by dumpsters. Uh, by Lady and the Tramp, uh, four to one. Wow. So we're on to round two, guys, and All we have right. Spider-Man versus Back to the Future, Ghost versus Empire Strikes Back, Nightmare on Elm Street three versus Batman Returns, Brokeback Mountain versus Black Swan. So first one up, Spider-Man versus Back to the Future. Uh, I, this is too easy for me. It's Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man for me as well. well Back to know. the Future. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. Well, Spider Man wins, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's okay, Janelle. That's we understand. Guess. We know what's we know what's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> so Spider Man, th- Spider Man knocks out Back to the Future three to two. Up next, Ghost versus Empire Strikes Back. Are we really gonna have like three sci fi superhero movies in the semifinals? <laughs> it's wild. Uh, it's gotta be Empire. I'm sorry. This is what uh, happens when you get the bracket pack, like, trying to decide what the best on-screen kids is. Like, oh, obviously fucking Princess Leia and, like, Mary Jane Watson. <laughs> whoa, whoa. It has nothing to do with Mary Jane Watson for me. I, Come out. I, I, I loved Jane her Jane in that first movie. I loved her in the first one. Then I don't care past that. Ever. Guys, I need, I need... Time out. Time out. You guys didn't see that pottery scene in Empire. Holy <laughs> shit, you guys. Um, Greg, I'm going to be a ghost vote. Are you? And I love Empire. It's my favorite. Great. 
I gotta go. Yeah, I, I'm in yeah, a Potter. I, man. I, I, I'm gonna go Empire, and I, I, a lot of it has to do with the fact that like the kiss really isn't what I remember from Ghost. Yeah. It is the Potter no, that makes scene. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. an Empire. Yeah, but she totally fucks a ghost. I remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> You know what? In space, there are no pottery wheels, so I'm going to go with uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. We don't need ghosts. I'm an Empire vote. Yeah. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, Empire Strikes Back knocks out Ghost 4-1. to one. Guys, what if Patrick Swayze played Han Solo? That'd be great. Yeah. I would Because he'd be yeah. alive. In real talk, it probably, probably would have been similar. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I don't think those characters would have been that different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Just like so if 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 Harrison Ford was in Roadhouse, same shit. Yeah, go watch oh, Big Trouble in Little China that. sometime. That's basically Han Solo. All right, so we got Empire or Nightmare on Elm Street three versus Batman Returns. I'm a Batman vote. Oh, I'm man. a Nightmare I'm, on Elm. I'm gonna Street. John. I'm gonna... You were just complaining about joke entries going on too far. <laughs> this was John's one of his actual Batman. <laughs> oh, man, you're insane. You're insane. How am I insane? It's, Everyone's it's, insane. Selena Kyle is insane. It's that's what Cat Batman and Batman, Cat Woman that. and Batman versus some fucking laffy taffy tongue. That's <laughs> ridiculous. We've we laughed at it already. It, this has gone on long enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm Lord. putting a stop to it. Oh, we need to Lord. Go. Fine. 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 It, Janelle, <laughs> Janelle is right. I would be a hypocrite to vote any other way. I'm voting Batman Returns. Thank you. I gotta go Batman. Yeah. Y'all suck. Y'all are awful. Because Batman's sorry. gonna win it now. I'm Batman sorry. Returns knocks out Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, three? Yeah, four to one. Yeah. Uh, Brokeback Mountain versus Black Swan. Oh, this, this is as far as I'm concerned, is the finals. Like, this nah, is really tough to nah. me. Uh, nah. Well, one has more emotion. I mean, there's real emotion behind Brokeback Mountain. The other one's just a sexual thing. I, yeah, that's yeah. true. It's, I don't think that's yeah, a mark against it, Yeah, but total mental manipulation. Right, but but as far as the actual scene, there's emotion behind the Brokeback Mountain one. The other one is just erotic. It's like, it's intense. It's hot. Well, I, I mean, mean if, we're, if we're talking about the first... The- the first kiss in the tent in Brokeback Mountain is oh, a lot more right. similar to Black Swan. Yeah. If we're talking about right. where they get reunited, that's where all the emotions yeah. come into play. Right. Yeah, the first one so was a kiss. I, we honestly probably have to figure <clears throat> out which Brokeback Mountain kiss we're talking about. The first one and- I thought of was the one in the tent. Yeah, I, I feel that's the, the I, one. I always think of the return first because that's the one that made me like feel something. The fr- the kiss in the tent when I saw the movie I was like okay this is what I signed up for this is what I thought this movie was when they get reunited I was like oh man like now I'm actually invested I'm gonna be a black swan vote I I think I'm Brokeback Mountain I'm Brokeback Mountain Black Swan oh boy <laughs> oh man uh, this both is... both of these scenes are absolute all three of the scenes if that's the case are fucking phenomenal yeah boy this is really tough because all of these actors I really love. Both of these movies yeah. I really love. All, like, these kisses particularly I really love. God, I'm so... Jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> which do I think has a better chance of moving forward? I think that's going to be like... <laughs> I think I might go Brokeback just because I think it has a better chance of going forward. But I these this is probably the hardest decision I've ever made on bracket. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, Don't so Brokeback broke back Mountain knocks out Dang. Black Swan in a three to two vote. You can Jeez. write your complaints to him. <laughs> so in the semifinals, we have Spider Man versus Empire Strikes Back, and Batman Returns versus Brokeback Mountain. Spider Man versus Empire Strikes Back. I'm, I'm not backing I, down. I'm Spider Man. I'm Empire. I, I am a Spider Man. Uh, I'm Empire. Whoa! Oh my God. Janelle. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Janelle. Uh, Janelle, you know what the right choice is. Okay, one of these guys is Tobey Maguire, and the other is Harrison don't, fucking Don't Ford. you dare. Don't do that. He's got, a, he's got his Spider-Man mask on. He could be anybody. Yeah, he's anybody. He's okay, Peter well, Parker. we know who Harrison Ford is, and he shoots uh, people first. It's Han Solo. It's versus Han Spider-Man. Solo. This is hard. This is, this is there, really hard. I... There are, I, I well, maybe we won't get into that. I never mind. I, I Both right Disney out. properties at this point. Um, Han Solo. Empire no! Yeah. 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 Spider Man is the That's best it. kiss. No. It's the best <laughs> kiss. Oh my god. All right. 
Now I'm mad. Uh, yeah, Empire I'm, I, Spider-Man was my number one, man. Yeah. I, I know it was. You know, we don't always get what we want. No, fuck you guys. I voted for Back to the Future before against Spider-Man, so you guys fucking... I killed it. I killed Spider-Man. Thank you, you Janelle. <laughs> I'm with you. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up, Jesse. You're Otto Octavius. <laughs> you killed Spider-Man. Empire Strikes Back kills Spider-Man 3-2. to two. I don't even care about this bracket anymore. Batman Returns it versus Brokeback Mountain. It's got right. the Joker, the Joker versus Batman, the best Joker versus the best Batman. Uh, Michael yeah. uh, Heath Ledger. Uh, I'm a broke back. Man. Broke back. Is this really a chance, Janelle? Michael Keaton, guys. Batman Returns. Too I, don't bad. get me wrong. I'm coming Great in as a kiss. broke back vote. Wow. Yeah. John Spite <laughs> vote yeah. now. You know what? I'm a Batman vote. Brokeback Mountain knocks out Batman. <laughs> oh. Two. All right. So in the bronze match, we have Spider-Man versus Batman Returns. Uh, Spider-Man. Batman. Batman. You're <laughs> Are you kidding me? Spider-Man Kiss is so much objectively better than Batman. How many times do you see the Batman Returns? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these fucking I, Okay, yeah, here's the I, thing. I think the story behind the Batman Kiss is a lot more interesting. The Spider-Man Kiss kind of just happens because they're like, we need a kiss in this movie. No, Which one you makes you pickle in your sure. pants? It's the Spider-Man one. Uh, it's the Batman one, to be honest here. Spider-Man all the way! And Janelle said it first! Nipples! <laughs> <laughs> Nipples. Yeah, I know, but that's kind of inappropriate because I like when kids can enjoy a movie. And like they I did the fact that her nipples. <laughs> I didn't get the shit out of them. You're going to tell me that when you're talking about that Catwoman suit. <laughs> That Catwoman suit did some things as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I'm still on the fence. The answer is Spider Man. Uh, but I don't like Kirsten Dunst as much as I love Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. I don't know that much either. No. But like that scene in particular, it's raining. It's like it's like that tattoo video. Uh, <laughs> it, yep. There. All the things she said, all the things she said. Exactly. Well, exactly. Batman Returns, this wasn't the Batman movie they had it, but Seal is on the soundtrack in one of them, and he had a you kiss from the Rose. You can't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> he, compared, he compared you to a kiss from a Rose. Oh, that's great. Right. But that has nothing to do with it. Oh, but now I'm That is the best Seal. kiss. The best kiss is from Seal. Oh, no, that's all I want. It's Batman and Catwoman. It's, it's Spider Man. Awesome. I'm just going to go Marvel over DC. Sorry. You monster! Oh. You <laughs> monsters! <gasps> How hey. did this happen? Did Michael Keaton end up in toilet water? No! <laughs> so no! Spider-Man Spider Kiss beats out Batman Returns 3 to 2, and that no makes Spider-Man 3 and Batman Returns dirty toilet water. Uh, Spider-Man 3 was <laughs> so the bad, bat toilet. It's okay, uh -huh. Janelle. Let's go start our own podcast. Yeah, okay. fuck this. All right. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Got the finals here. Empire Strikes Back and Brokeback Mountain. Oh, boy. I'm um, going to be honest. I I love Han Solo. I love Empire Strikes Back. I love that kiss, but I'm a Brokeback Mountain vote. Got to go there, Brokeback. There's there's oh. more. I think there's more there. I think there's more there that in more whichever of those two kisses we've talked about. I think there's more going on than yeah. Empire. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, Jesse, you go. You, I don't know if you want me to go. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I'm. I think I'm gonna bro broke back too. Mm. And I think you are as well. Is broke that back mountain. Colin, did you vote? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a broke back vote. There was no chance. Wow, wow is that a sweep? I was actually gonna vote Empire. Whatever, I'll sit here with my stone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Brokeback Mountain wins best on-screen kiss. Empire Strikes Back is in second place. Spider-Man is in third, and Batman Returns ended in dirty toilet water. I don't I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm never one. coming back. I'm never coming back. <laughs> I'm, like, full of shit. I'm so pissed off right now. <laughs> I, I Spider-Man should have won this whole thing. <laughs> John's John's this, this this has just came down to the fact that we wanted to spite each other every single time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even like on-screen kisses. What are you doing this show, pal? Kisses gross. I'm going to go Kissing's watch that kiss cuties. on loop right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, put some pants on, John. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I can I can watch all those kisses, most of them. All right. No, did you see you see where Mary Jane pulled out uh pulled out Spider-Man's tongue? Turn into yeah. Laffy Taffy, <laughs> Laffy Taffy Spider Tongue. Yo, that was, was hot. I was way into it. 
in the it's rain. I would have been way into that. Man, I don't even think that Spider-Man kiss was great. I think the one from Spider-Man, like, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, where they're in a fucking closet or whatever, is a lot better. That's a great kiss, yeah, too. That's a great one. Yeah. But I, it's not I better than the better. iconic. I, uh, yeah, man. I think about that first Spider-Man movie kiss a lot. <laughs> like, that goes through my mind every 22 minutes. That that kiss On formed average. a lot of my high school dating uh, strategies. Well, then do you think maybe you're a little biased, John? <laughs> That's how I met John, actually. <laughs> yeah, Cullen met me. I was trying to kiss him, hanging upside down. I was getting mugged. It's he had funny. very awkward, poorly scripted dialogue. But I looked good. Cullen was in his pink crop top in the rain. <laughs> no bra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank Janelle Santa Cruz for coming on the show today. Any way we can get in touch with you? We got anything to plug? No upcoming shows right now. I've been doing stand-up in, in L.A., but I don't have anything... Um, that I know of right now, but follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Janelle Santa Cruz. Nice. I'm Keaton Mondays every Monday. That's right. When's Birdman coming out? When's oh that? Oh my happen? god, not soon enough. That looks so good. Uh, yeah, it uh, looks amazing. Oh, is that that Charlie Parker movie? Hey, I'm. A... <laughs> that might be a joke. Oh, you get Jesse. this guy. All right, guys. You can find us at our website bracketpodcast.com, and as always on Twitter at twittercom bracketcast, on Facebook at facebookcom bracketcast, on our Tumblr at bracketpodcast.tumblr.com. If you like, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever other podcast client you use. Just search bracket. Uh, we'll see you guys next week when I'm upside down kissing Greg at Vito. <laughs> that isn't even what won. Chick-fil-A, your call. Michael Where? Keaton is forever. Michael Keaton is forever. I will, forever. I will have hot, sexy, like, tent makeouts on the range with any or all oh, of you guys. That's the getting, best. Getting a little I want to hang upside down in a tent and make out. That seems <laughs> impractical, Colin. <laughs> Doing a professional radio show on the internet.